There we go. I just okay. remember that my World 1 split is like uh, 331, I think. So I, I probably got second worst RNG in World 1, but that's all I remember, basically. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I think you got, I think you got average RNG in World 1. Um, most of the time, the Hammer Brothers will just kind of dictate what kind of World 1 time you can get. There's, there's that, like, variance, right? You'll never get above 234, but it's rare to get under 330, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, 330, you, you need, like, uh, second best RNG or better, basically. Yeah. Yes, this is, uh, think... anyone in chat, this is Karua's run, Yes. This is not yeah, I was going to say, I think uh, we both have pretty much the same gold split. I know that my best world one is uh, 328.7, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty similar, yeah. 328. It, it can't really go much lower than that, right? It's, it's so Yeah, hard. I mean, I don't have the uh, 1.5 uh, corridor jump in mm -hmm. mind, so I mean, that would be an improvement, but yeah. You guys hear that? It's the corridor now. Tunnel is obsolete. <laughs> Place your bets how many times Mitch forgets to split. I'll try my best to remember. So, so you're entering 1-5 on your side? Yep. Just to you, know if we're just some, took the okay. damage, yep. So yeah, I didn't even go for it, I think, because as much as I love it, and I think your emote is amazing, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to get out of World 1, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's such a meme emote. Yeah, it's so cool and so goofy at the same time. I right? Can everyone in chat just spam the tunnel emo just for the hell of it? Just just get it out there. We're only going to see it once this run. <laughs> All right. So um, how do you feel about the setup in 1.6? Um, how often do you get the uh, the last frame P build? Um, oh, um, honestly, I just, I mean... Usually I get the early P speed in 1.6, but when I think I'm going to get the late one, you know, I just go all out because I know I'm going to reset anyway if I fail it, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I think I think here you, you actually got two movements of one, and then the rest were movements of two. Uh, no, I got one movement of uh, one. Movement of one. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, what... I think, yeah. Yeah, I got the flower, so yeah. I, I, it has to be one movement of one if I got the flower. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's uh, second worst RNG. I mean, it's the same. If you get one movement of one or two movements of one, uh, it's pretty much the same result because uh, the additional movement is the same as getting the flower. Yeah, the yeah, one, exactly. So. I know. I, I even asked Tom of that, and he says, well, realistically, even though if you get a movement of two and you get the flower, you're still going to want the movement of one. So Yeah. So you don't, movements of two just all around, just don't even want them. Yeah, no, definitely. But speaking of movements of one, when we enter world two, it's going to be a completely different story. Oh, did I get good RNG in world two? I you don't got, remember. You got almost all movements of one in world two, which is... Oh, really? To that's me, that's it. the most rare thing I've ever... Because, <laughs> like, you still get... Oh, 331, 31. I think I split a little late. Um, You... You mess you mess up an A press on two one, and then you didn't get P speed in the fortress, but you still got a nine twenty two or three in world two. I didn't get P speed in the fortress. Oh no. my god, that's depressing. I hate <laughs> missing that. I got the backup. I I hope certainly I got the backup. No, you didn't get the backup either. But you got so what? many movements of one in world two that it didn't matter. What what what? Are you sure I didn't get the backup? I, yep. Watch, you're gonna miss your input here. Oh yeah, I can see the big guys. That was, that was like half a second, maybe. Yeah. Not not much time, of course, no. Yeah, but it's more infuriating than just punishing. It's like, oh, come on, don't okay. start a war like that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't start with me just yet. Come on, game. But yeah, I really hope I'm at least getting the backup P speed because otherwise it's gonna be really depressing. No, I'm pretty good normally at this speed. I mean, in the fourth, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you and you and Kujo have the your guys' normal P-speed strat on lockdown. I was surprised. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you definitely don't get the backup P-speed. You get the P-speed near the end of the first section. Is that? Oh, what? that's yeah. That's what I call the backup P-speed. I mean, oh, as long okay. as you get it before the pipe. 
Okay, okay, sorry. Then yes, you definitely... You have oh, P-Speed okay. when you enter the pipe, don't worry. Okay, I feel a bit better then. Okay, so movement of one right there, guys. Do you see that? Keep Pay attention to his movements of one. It's the craziest luck I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, so not getting uh, P-Speed um, as early as possible is like 1.5 second lost, basically. Mm -hmm. Which means Which nothing is... to people who get movements of one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's more annoying than anything, really. Mm -hmm. I think because I'll... it's not so hard. Well, I think a lot of problems with Mario 3 speedrunners in a whole is that when some things start to go wrong and then you get the bad movements with RNG, it starts to mess with your head a little bit. You start to, like, really... It, it, bo it starts to bother you a little bit, right? And it can conflict with your gameplay. Yeah, definitely. There is a lot of psychological factors going yeah. into it. So that was another movement of two he just got, or a movement of one he just got. Yeah, I had to go around, so that's actually worse than a movement of two, but I mean, it's still good, obviously. That's right. right yeah, on. to give an idea, uh, when you get, I mean, a single movement, I think when Mario moves in the overworld, one movement is uh, 0.3, approximately. So uh, when you have to take a Sorry. detour or something, you can count like that. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, another movement of two, or movement of one right there. Keeps going, man. It's just all movements of one. Oh, yeah, but I have to go to 2 5, though. That's. Yeah. yeah I mean, two... that's not bad, but I mean, it's not ideal. I think my chat needs to hear it from another person. What's faster, 2 5 or 2 4? Uh, 2 4 is one second faster. There you go, guys. See? we it, Because we both say it, it's got to be true now, right? <laughs> Look, another movement. So... Another movement of one. It's it's been all movements all possible movements of one you've gotten movement because after yeah. the first level you can't get a movement of one right? Uh yeah yeah, but yeah that's not I mean doing two five is fine if you get only movements of one you're not gonna complain obviously. No, and of it's course not. Good. But yeah um the best scenario is to uh, get movements of one at the top so you can do uh, two four like Mitch said. Oh my gosh. Yeah that's really amazing around you. I didn't remember that at all. The boomerang broke I it think... forward, which still didn't even conflict with your time. Another movement of one. Oh, <laughs> every single movement of one. It's yeah, when I was impressive. doing when I was doing playback, um, in live split. Like I could, I can't compete with this world too. Like you just can't. Even those time saves that I gain on you in two one, and then the fortress, and maybe not going around two three doesn't yeah. help me, man. It doesn't help me at all. 2-4 can make a bit of a difference also. I mean, it's one second, so... Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a pretty good world to considering. Look at that. You press A at 8 minutes exactly. That's a really good world, too. 2-5 two yeah, is fine. easier. Yes, 2-5 is easier. Yeah, I think my best world to pace ever, uh, without early armor, obviously, is um, 9, 19, maybe 18, I'm not sure, but 19 for sure. I got it a few times, but I might have got 9, 18 before. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, no, that's um, that's some pretty rare stuff. You would have got 9, 19, or 18 this run if those stupid little silly things didn't occur, like an input miss. Like, that's not even your fault. I mean, it is my fault, but yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's silly mistakes. Yeah, it's ah oh man. I think this yeah, would have been a gold world. Like... How do you guys do that, man? I'm always scared to stand there for that bullet bill. Oh yeah, I, I'm seeing my my timer already um plus, and I'm like, what? I completely forgot I was running against early armor PB. Mm -hmm. I mean my uh, fifty one thirteen. So you know how some people have like um race splits combined with attempt splits in one series of splits. I think I might do that with early hammer and just switch between the two. I've never seen that actually. Oh, 924, okay. I was a little confused. Yeah. Still, 924 is great. Yeah, it's good, but I mean, definitely you can feel that I missed the strat in the fourth that I had to do 2-5 and all. And also, world one was not bad, but I mean, 31 is not great. Yeah, sure. exactly. So it's not a bad pace at all, but it's nothing special, I would say. So normally as this game goes, uh, One World gave him really good Hammer Brother RNG, so 
the next world has to has to give him bad RNG. So, get, get... oh yeah, he he ran away, didn't he? I think he did. He did, yeah. Ah, that's that's so annoying. I mean, <laughs> it's cool that he comes back, but I, when you get movement of three like that, it's so annoying. Right. Nice, nice, smooth three one. That's a, that's the average person watching both of us do three one wouldn't know, but what he did there was a really really good um, three one, and a lot of it had to do with near the beginning when he jumped out of the water. He built his P speed really really well. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, that's the sort of stage that looks really straightforward for people who don't run the game. But as you said, when you run the game, you see details like that, and it makes quite a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, when you add uh, everything together. Yeah. For someone who doesn't get the single frame A press in 3.1, keeping up in that, with that 3.1 would be very difficult. And that, that was a very nice 3.2 as well. Do you, okay, so you know how the cheap cheap varies depending on how fast or slow you built your P-Speed? What's your visual yep. cue there? Do you use the cloud? I don't have a visual cue. I, um, I kind of feel how fast I got P-Speed okay. and I adapt my input to it, basically. Okay, cool. Now, um, the average person who doesn't run this game wouldn't have noticed, but right here, this is the primary spot where you've accumulated just the right enough coins to actually activate a coin chip. Now, do you particularly uh, get the right amount of coins in World 1 Level 1, or do you just continuously pay attention to your coins as you're going through the run? Uh, usually, I pay attention to my coins after 3-2 uh, and 3-3. Three, three. I mean, after 3-1, I already know if I'm going to potentially get a coin chip or not. Yeah. And then after a few key stages, uh, like if it's fine after three two, I I know it's not gonna be a problem in World Three typically. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, movement of th no, was it two or three? That was That's two. Not... I moved to yeah. the right side of level six. Yeah, because I don't have sounds right now. But yeah, it took like two. But I think he does three afterwards. He does right here. Yeah. Oh he, yeah. Right so there, bad. he just moved below level eight, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, either to the right of the 8 or below, we can't know. Yeah. One yeah. or the other. Um, what was that question? Why do you start turning back into in 3 2? Do you want you can cover that? Oh, yeah, that's because um, you have to uh, basically uh, sync the platforms so you can boat P speed. You don't have to delay as much as I do. Like, um, well, Mitch, for example, at some point he used to delay much less than that but it becomes much harder to get P-Speed. So it depends on what you want to go for, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so the Hammer Brother came back. Um, he sacrificed, you know, 1, 1. 1.5 seconds of overworld map movements that he didn't need. Obviously, the most typical is you want the movements of 1, but yeah. when the Hammer Brother runs away like that and comes back, he's not going to reset over the loss of a couple movements of 2 or 3, right? So that's, that's yeah, some definitely. really good luck on his part, but also bad. Yeah, it's like an extra two seconds, maybe, uh, g getting two movements of three, like that. But, I mean, you don't care. As long as you uh, don't That's have right. to die in three six, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I have to answer this question a lot. Do you think it is at all worth it at any point in time when you're in a position like mine or yours to even consider continuing when you die on three six, Or do you think it's just a reset right away? Uh, if you don't have early armor, you definitely reset every time. You uh, when you have early armor, I would continue, but I mean, it's going to cost a lot of time, but I would still continue and use the early armor as a buffer, basically. Was Karua disappointed on any levels in this run? Um, well, like I... two fourth, I was. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> I mean, you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is um, a few mistakes uh, I'm not very happy about, but Overall, uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, the main thing, things I wanted to get, I got, so I'm pretty happy about it overall. And and I think one of the most important things for him was to get the sub-51. I think that's what we all want, really. Yeah, yeah. particularly without early ammo, I was really happy to get it. Your first time watching our speedrun was the AGDQ 2014 co-op? Yeah, it's been a long time. This is like a reunion for us, minus the 100%. Yeah, that run was really fun to uh, do, but holy shit, some of the mistakes with the endless seven one and all my death in Bowser Castle. Oh god! <laughs> I haven't watched that one in a long time, but it was that that was fun. Me, the white pants. <laughs> Dude, 
I failed to get P-speed at, at, at uh, the start of tower in World 5. So I go back to get P-speed and I fail again or something <laughs> like that. It was unreal. Like I never failed P-speed in that stage and I couldn't get it for some reason. That's so oh, jokes. That yeah. I'm so bad at double taps. Like against Wendy, I'm so bad. Oh, at the double taps? I don't I don't <sighs> use double thumb on double taps. I think Kujo's the best on double taps for Wendy. Yeah. Yeah, Kujo. He's so fast at double taps. I don't know how he does it. Mm -hmm. Most so of the I'm time when I is twenty one. Yeah. Well, there is like oh, I forgot the split. <laughs> Shut up, guys. There is that one that um I think you up uploaded a version that you and I had already discussed a couple years yeah. in the past where you you potentially stop Wendy in her tracks earlier on, so you can just stand there and shoot her, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I it's weird because. I was doing that method again, and then I started being really bad at it and being better at the normal one. So I switched again, and then I switched again, and I did that like four times maybe. I kept switching between one and the other. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What you guys are going to see is two completely different 4 1 strats that results in the same. So uh, Karua decides to do his turn back uh, to manipulate the P meter. Um, uh, further into the P build, whereas I do it earlier, but it results into the exact same thing. It's very interesting the way that you can build your levels around that. You don't always have to copy exactly what other people do in the games. Once you have full speed and if nothing prevents you from moving forward, it doesn't matter where you jump or what you're landing on as long as you just keep going forward. Yeah, exactly. Like right there, he jumps up on that top block. I never jump there, but we it's the same. it's the same thing. It's important to um, reach that pipe high enough so you get uh, you keep p speed when uh, exiting the pipe. <laughs> right. Thank God for that cloud. The final Kaizo version of that level. <laughs> oh man, I watched you do that for like a couple hours. Oh really yeah, fun. yeah. Oh Jesus, that Why? hack was so hard. Right. Okay. Um. Why only plus fifty five on World Two? I know most people see me at plus one ten, one eight, one fourteen. That's because lately I've been getting um the music box in World Two as well. Oh yeah. Um, so I have the additional twelve seconds. Uh, Carew's run. He got just the hammer. How many gold splits in this run did Carew have? I don't know. You have to ask him. Uh, I got uh, one in World Six. Okay, so the RNG is not great so far in World 4, but it's not bad either. I saw, I saw a movement of 4, I think. But, I mean, one movement of 4 is not too bad for World 4. Does Do World you... 4 level 4 stress you out? I was going to say, I hate this stage. It's my <laughs> least favorite stage in the game. <laughs> and right? I keep this last jump, I keep not crouching for some reason. I keep just jumping uh, from the last block and not doing a crouch swim, and I don't know why. That's what happens to me, man. I keep jumping. Yeah, it it happened to me three times tonight. I jump out of the water instead of doing the like little super swim. I thought I was the only one. I just don't understand four four. I hate this stage. Yeah, it's like for some reason the game selects the one down input that's not going to work, and it's going to be that one. Yeah. So uh, that RNG was double edged. Uh, I got a movement of four, which is not good, but. They're in position to give movements of one only, which is good for the fire kick because the fire kick is much harder if you get a movement of two at the end of the world. And yep. uh, they can only give a movement of one right now. So the position. I know right. we have an easy fire kick, basically. Yeah, so the, the one thing that the average person is not going to know about this game is that the, the pattern for the boss is based on from the last level you finish till when you enter the pipe on the airship. So... You can't finish a level, then finish another level, and then expect to know what the pattern is. It's only from the very last level. So from this fortress where he's at right now, all these movements, all this time, until he enters the pipe. But because we've practiced it, he knows what pattern with the boss he's going to get right now. He already knows. So he's comfortable. Uh, he's, he's, he's not really stressed out about the fire kill, which I was mentioning earlier. It seems like all movements of two fire kills are trash, and all movements of one are great. Yeah, movement of two in World 4 is definitely really tight um, because basically it's going to jump uh, half a second earlier and um, 
if you're slightly late, you're gonna get hit. I mean, so yeah. And um, would you agree with me that losing your fire flower at at a point like this is probably the worst point in the game? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, the end of world three and the end of world four are the are the two worst places I I personally think are the worst to lose your yeah. your fire flower. Yeah, I just reset if I lose fire at this point because it's gonna be a huge time loss for sure. Um, why I think about it, I want to quickly address because I've seen many many people ask you and me too. Uh, is 49 possible? And we've answered this so many times, but uh, it gets a bit confusing why 49 is basically not realistic, because people who see are some of the best, uh, and they're like, 49 should be free, basically. You have to remember that many segments don't combine uh, with each other. So when you get a best segment in World 2, it's going to have early armor, but you need to play an extra stage in World 4. But your gold world 4 is not going to have this extra stage and all. So uh, when you see a sum of best in WordPress, it doesn't mean much usually. And to uh, say one more thing about that, uh, so my run was 50-57. And even if you gave, gave my run TAS early armor, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been, sorry, a 49. It wouldn't have been good, good enough for 49. So that should say a lot. I mean, it's not like my run was the best ever in terms of execution, but still, if my run is not enough to get 49 with uh, Tass Early Armor on top of it, which is some combination of RNG we've literally never had, I think. So yeah, 49 is absolutely beyond insane to get. It is, and I was so in tune with that, I almost split, but I got it. So, yeah, 49 is just like the way we look at it as is we we're and we're pretty generous whenever we do it we're like okay let's pretend i saved 40 seconds on early hammer okay well you still need to save another seven where is he going to save another 17 seconds especially if he hasn't got any extra hammer brothers he's getting some pretty good overworld map movements right that's why 49 yeah. is just so and i was generous i gave him 40 seconds for early hammer early hammer doesn't mean you're going to get 40 seconds at all yeah exactly right so where you can save um, between uh, 10 seconds to uh, 50 seconds, basically, with early armor. And 50 seconds is that's early armor. I've had it, like, twice ever. I don't know how many times you have, you've had it. But, uh, I mean, it's the same amount, not many times. And uh, I've never had that's early armor combined with all the hammer ball skips and all. I mean, it just doesn't... It's so rare to get everything together. So what what I've gotten before is I've gotten the early the no death early hammer I've gotten that about three times like consciously I don't know when I was a kid or anything but those three early hammers that I got they marathoned around the map I've only once gotten the TAS early hammer where they got stuck and they moved directly over level three within a movement of like four and then that was it I've only had that oh, once. Okay. What's the TAS record like human theory human theory is probably a fifty thirty. I'd say, pretty close to yeah. 50, 40. I mean, if we were to do a, a true theory test, obviously it would be a forty-nine. But realistic, I mean, uh, without like, early armor, I, if we really made a theory test with just absolutely every movement of one possible and all, it would be a uh, mid-low fifty. But yeah. Yeah, because like I mean, sometimes. it's possible. It's possible to get a no death early hammer, so that would obviously be in the theory, right? Because theoretically, yeah, like, yeah. You, so the, theory tasks in this game are useless. <laughs> yeah, theory tasks with SMB three. There is so much RNG that honestly it doesn't mean much because, for example, in World Five, we we would get movements of one all the time, and it never happens. I mean, <laughs> when was the last time you got all movements of one in World Five? I don't think I've ever gotten that. I've actually had it once, and it was absolutely insane. But it was like in 2013 when I was still not very good at the game, so uh, exactly, it didn't yeah. really matter. Right. Right on. So, so your Twisty Castle is pretty good here so far. We haven't really talked. We haven't really talked much about the the World Five so far. But um, yeah, <laughs> he got he got lucky in World Five because his Hammer Brothers switched. But luckily enough, they switched back, so he was able to get the P Wing and not get the extra Hammer Brother, which is so crucial in Warpless. Yeah, World Five is so crucial in Warpless for RNG. Yeah, both because uh, you want to skip a certain Hammer Ball, but also because. 
Uh, you can get a lot of movements if you get stuck at the castle. So, yeah, all in all, uh, World 5. I mean, I got some movements of 4, but including 1 to get the P wing, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of you guys see me duck. Uh, a lot of you guys see me. Um doing the wall jump in 6-9, and that's because I don't want to chance this RNG. I'm cha I'm, cha I'm chancing sub-pixel in skill over not sub-pixel in RNG, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you, um, yeah, I I mean, depending on the RNG, oh, I got a movement of 4 too. Yeah. I think he comes back, so I probably get another movement of 4. That's not really good RNG in World 5, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Your World but 3... Yeah, all, uh, yeah, go ahead. Your world three and five were really bad on RNG. Your world four was standard. Your world two was great, and I think your world six was really good as well. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say um, when I skip the P wing in world five, um, I prefer going for the fire route in world six, which is slower than getting the wall jump first try, but it's actually faster than getting the wall jump second try if you do it perfectly. But to be honest. Uh, getting the fire route perfectly in World 6 is really hard, so usually you're going to be like between 2 and 3 attempts at the especially, wall jump. Especially the fire kill too. Yeah, the fire kill can be a bit tricky, but 610 is uh, um, quite insane uh, for the fire route in uh, WordPress because you don't have um, Raccoon Mario at this point if you do the fastest strats possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Have you have you not seen my six eight with the uh, raccoon suit? Yeah, but uh, honestly, I compared it, and if you do six ten, I mean, if you plan on doing six ten fire combined with that, it's still gonna be uh, slower than just uh, doing six ten big and trying to get the insane p speed strats. But obviously, it's gonna be less consistent big. So exactly, it's, yeah, it's kind of a preference thing i guess so as you guys can see as as we're talking about all this stuff um you have you have so many choices that you can make throughout your run okay so i could save a second do doing 610 big right but it's it's insanely difficult but then i can wall jump but then i gotta base it off sub pixels but then i could do raccoon and not have to worry about sub pixels rng but i'm not saving as much time so as you can see, whenever we talk back and forth through all these strats, there's just like there's so many options we have, and it all depends on how you know how risky we want to be, or you know how much time we need to save. A lot of this, I think, is based on how well you're doing in the run and what you're willing to go for, and what's worth it yeah. at that point in time. Yeah, definitely, and uh, that's really actually a very interesting point in um, World Seven. Between, uh, I mean, that's one of the things we are asked all the times. Why do you use fire? Why do you use hammer in World 7? And that's pretty much the same idea. Luckily, um, at this point, we... it's preference now, right? Essentially, it's, it's exactly. preference. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely going to talk about it in World 7, but in my opinion, both routes are equal, and uh, it's it comes down to preference at this point. And, it it, uh, it is crazy. Both, uh... What's that? Yeah, I was going to say, I think both have really interesting possibilities. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I got the movement of one Q, which is I did. I was actually prepared for every single possible RNG in World 5, uh, but I still want to get this RNG because uh, you don't have to delay the pipe at all, and the kill is really fast. So even if I got a different RNG, I would have been able to fire kill, but uh, some of the fire kills are, I mean, are like one second slower because you have to manipulate in a way to force the fire kill, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um... What I was going to say is, because we're on the topic of those movements of one with the with the kills, is that um, anyone who's daring enough to really get involved with uh, how the bosses work with the fire kills, would you recommend learning any, any other patterns other than movements of one and two? Me, personally, I would say no. Um, when you're not going for a world record, no, just don't worry too much about it. Like, fire kills on Koopa Kids are really advanced stuff, usually. I mean, some of them at least. No, they are. Um, I, I'd agree. World 1 is the most basic, but at the same time, it's still co complicated if you don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, Wendy is obviously uh, quite easy, relatively speaking. But, yeah. Is Crew French? Uh, yes, yes, he is. Yeah, I'm French, as you can tell by uh, my uh, shit accent. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I didn't go for the uh, P-Speed strat in that room. I've died 
on the Wafford uh, a few times, mm -hmm. going for P speed. So I just I, I take I got, my uh, 79 and yeah. I got P speed a couple times tonight, but for me it's like a surprise. Like I'm not always really going for it. I mean, it's not going to be a huge difference. You get like an extra bar build and like point something time save. It's such a surprise. What about this P speed though? Okay, so I went for it, I think, because yeah, I went for it, but I didn't get it. Yeah. I don't know and how I you didn't almost, get that. Dude, and I almost went for the jump because the game duped me so much, uh, showing me a full P-Speed bar and still not giving me P-Speed. You right? can really die like that. That's so annoying. Look, he's got the curse of the 99 coins. I had that the other night. I had 99 for like three worlds. <laughs> okay, that's actually interesting because I, um, I manipulated my score in the first Hammer Ball fight, so I wouldn't get a uh, coin ship after 6-5. But that's assuming I get the normal 6 5 strat, which I failed. You did. And, um, you did. And I freaked out at the end of 6 5 because I destroyed more, more blocks than I was expecting. And uh, okay, so you're going to see. So I failed this strat. I get the backup, which was honestly a really good backup. I think I lost like two seconds on that. But I destroyed way more blocks than I anticipated. So I kind of freaked out a bit. And, uh, yeah, but then you realize you already got the cloud? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I didn't want to uh, stop the run even if I got the star at this point. So yeah, I wanted to still uh, try not to get the coin ship. Yeah, the Hammer Brother was close too. So, uh... I like this strat a lot in 6F2. Um, I really love this strat. It's only very slightly faster than the uh, fastest uh, okay. fly strat. It's still really fast because it sets up as well for the next level. You don't want you don't want the the tail for the next level. Yeah, exactly. Getting eighty one in this stage is really great. So. So I wanted to touch up on something really quick. In six four, when we're talking about building the P speed in that level, what makes that what makes that P speed so difficult is that by the time you realize whether or not you have P speed, you you had to have already executed your jump. Now, what makes that so tricky is that the jump you make depends on whether or not you got P speed, and that's why it's so scary in uh, 6 4 to get your P speed. It's yeah. Your reaction time has to be on point. And in fact, that's exactly why I uh, don't always go for 6 4. Like this run, uh, the pace is is pretty good, but I mean, honestly, the pace after World 5 was uh, nowhere near my best pace ever. So the run was okay. I decided to go for 6 4 P speed. But because you can really die in 6 4, if my pace was, for example, 5 seconds faster, I would have just bailed on 6-4 and not even tried p speed probably. Exactly. And then this is what really pushed you to the next. Yeah, so that's the only reason World 6 is gold because, I mean, I made some small mistakes and all. But it was fairly yeah, good. This one, it was, it was yeah, it good. was decent, but I mean, the Boom. mistake in 6-5 and all. Boom. Now, now what I'm going to say, um, with options of World 6, this clip saved you what? Five seconds? Five, six seconds? Um, yeah, Four? it's like a bit more than six. Okay, so that clip saved him a bit more than six. He could have saved himself a little bit of time if he pressed down right away to start clipping, but that's not, yeah. that's that's minuscule. So the only way you can actually uh, progress time on this world six is you need to get P speed in six four. You have to continue P speed in six four one, which isn't even that much of a time save, but you need to do something like that. Uh, you need to not mess up 6-5, uh, you have to get more movements of 1, and I think getting the wall jump is faster than the P-Wing, is it not? Uh, no, the wall jump is actually slower than the P-Wing. Okay, okay. Even though, well, you can get your, you can keep your P-Speed on the, on the breakable block with the 1-Up in it, with the wall jump. As long as you single frame jump, you'll keep your P-Speed. Um, I'm sure you yeah, added that yeah. in, I'm sure you added that in. Yeah, yeah, but it's still a bit slower. Yeah. But interestingly, my uh, World 6 gold, I mean the previous gold, was only uh, one second slower than this one, and it didn't have the uh, 6F3 zip. There you go, but, see? What I'm saying is but, like you need to do all those things without the clip, which is crazy. But yeah, just to be clear, my uh, gold that was one second slower was absolutely insane. It was like all movements of one, 6 4 p speed. Uh, the first fort was insanely good mm -hmm. and every stage was pretty much perfect for right the strats on. I used so yeah and I still beat it just because I uh, got the zip in 6f3 this the clip uh, the, 
so there's like there's there's some things in Karu's run that are that it's like anomalies in this game. So like every everything was pushing him for that for that sub fifty one. I mean he got all movements of one in World Two, even though World Three screwed him over. He just he got some crazy luck, but also some good like skill uh, execution, like the clip. The clip is so crazy. It's punishing. If you don't get the clip, you take damage. You lose more time. <laughs> yeah, you lose like three seconds if you uh, under jump. Exactly, and then you have to do the elevator. So the potential of nine to ten seconds is lost. Yeah, exactly. If yeah, that's pretty much it. If I under jumped uh, during the zip, I would be like plus six right now. Right, I mean he wouldn't have been. He would have PB'd if everything continued the same, which it might not have because he would have been on different pixel values. He might not have got seven one first try like he just did. He might not mm -hmm. have got no hands. It's crazy the way this game runs like that. Dude, I just want to say in seven one. Please don't um, jump when you do the wall zip. Don't jump outside of the wall because I, every time I see you do, uh, get 7-1 and you jump outside, you have to do a turn back afterwards. And then I'm like, why, Mitch? Why do you do that? What, on the pipe? Yeah. Yeah, but I build my P speed before I touch the card. So I get that extra burst of speed. Isn't what? it the same? Is it? I, I thought... Thank you. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think you lose a tiny bit of time uh, during the turn back. I mean, it's really small to be fair. It's like 0.1 or something. Why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> years, so, man. Yeah, I've been in, jumping um, out of the wall for years. In, in 7.2, I um, tried to enter the pipe, um, frank, uh, I mean, on the correct pixel, but I failed, so I lost a bit of time on the pipe. I mean, it's pretty small, but yeah. Did you try and enter the pipe on the, the the far right pixel to land back in the pipe, or try and enter the yeah. pipe perfectly to keep P... Okay, okay. Yeah, and I uh, landed like one pixel too much to the right, so I had to go back left and enter the pipe, basically. Uh, disclaimer right now, guys, this is the easiest level in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 7-3 so is free. Uh, okay, I, I, I actually just want to throw this out here. World 7 is not difficult. For the average person who watches this and they're like, screw that, I'm not doing Warp List because look at how hard World 7 is. i got to do all these clips and all these P-Speed strats. For one, you don't. World 7 is like item abuse land. It's right. World 7 is Until not 7, difficult. <laughs> Until 7-8, let's yeah. be fair. The hardest part about World 7 would effectively be 7-8 uh, and 7-4-2. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. But they don't have to be as hard as we make them, right? You don't, you're like, you're not going for world record right away. Oh, so yeah, don't no. be, don't you, be afraid. Do. I don't, I don't want people to be so afraid of this game's RNG. This game's RNG didn't affect Karu and I until like at least three or four years into running it, where we were like movements of one here, you know, hands there. We used to settle for 57s and sixes with one or two hands, and I didn't even pay attention to Hammer Brother movements back then. Yeah, definitely. You can get 52 with the shittiest RNG possible, honestly. All right. So, so yeah, 7 8, uh, I'm going for the uh, debuff strat, so I can set myself for the fire route. I mean, we're going to have auto scorers at the end of the world, so I actually took uh, some notes to try and explain what are the pros and cons of both routes. So, uh, if that's okay with you, I will talk about it during World I am, I am 100% fine with that. Go ahead, go right ahead, man. And uh, there is actually a few um, interesting small details. Like in 7.9, um, I realized when I frame counted both routes, but you gain a bit of time with, with uh, fire after the first zip because you kill the two enemies, so you regain P speed earlier. I mean, it's small, but I try to really uh, not forget about anything. So yeah, I got the two zips first try, and then uh, I gave one try to the third one, and I decided to bail. Uh, basically, if I um, if I tried the third and fourth zip again, and I got both of them first try, it would have been six seconds faster. So I decided to invest six seconds, because I knew at this point I was still 50 pace, and uh, I just wanted to have a shot at 50. So basically, I sacrificed my uh, 4x pace at this point to try and get a 5x and not use it on uh, the uh, 7 9 zips. 7f2, uh, the fire strat is, is pretty cool. Not as cool as the hammer strat, obviously. It's not the fastest possible, but it's a good mix of consistency and uh, speed. 
Like uh, there are some faster possibilities with fire in 7f2, but I mean, I don't want to uh, lose my run uh, going for an impossible 7f2 to try and gain like half a second or one second. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, quickly uh, try to explain what the deal with why I use fire, why uh, Mitch uses hammer, and why both options are pretty much equal. So when you compare two routes, you have two things to take into account. First, obviously, you time uh, everything. So I uh, actually did it. I frame counted every stage with uh, every strat, uh, strat we use and all. And I found that both routes were pretty much less than one second from each other. Uh, if you're curious about the precise numbers I got with the strats I use, the hammer, uh, hammer route was faster by half a second, approximately. But that's not the only uh, thing that matters, because what matters is also uh, how difficult are the strats, how consistent they are, is it RNG dependent and all. And there is actually some good and bad things uh, for all of that with both routes. So I, think, I think for both, that. yeah, both routes, there's the, the good and bad. Yeah, definitely. I think so as well. So uh, quickly, I'm, I'm going to try to list. I'm not going to take one hour on that, but. No, you have so, time. So, you, we got four auto scrollers, right? <laughs> yeah, there are quite a few. Yeah. So for the fire routes, um, overall, the stages are a bit easier. Not all of them, actually, but uh, seven, eight, in my opinion, is the big difference in, term, in terms of difficulty. Like seven F2 seems obvious. But in my opinion, uh, 7F2 is, I mean, it's harder with the hammer suit, but it's not that much harder compared to fire, whereas 7 8 is much harder uh, when you get the hammer suit compared to the uh, normal 7 8. And a lot so, of it is the, um, the timing with the raccoon tail and the star, and then entering the pipe and keeping the P speed, and then the P speed, added, like, it's just a headache. Yeah, definitely. So with fire, you can gain an extra. Uh, two seconds in the first auto score of World 8, if you're lucky. Uh, you can, I mean, you you have consistent kills on the boom booms, but they are very uh, slightly slower, but I'm going to go back on You can uh, fire kill this Koopa Kid, which is what you saw just now, but that's actually a kind of double-edged, because that fire kill is also the hardest one. Uh, if, you, if you're going to do the fire route and you go for, honestly, you will have to go for this fire kill. But for example, I didn't do it very well in that run, and I barely saved time with it. That was so risky what really... you did. I don't know why. You, why did you stand there though? I guess you thought you would you'd had those last two uh, fireballs yeah, that would kill them. Yeah, I was confident I was gonna finish, but I mean it was still a bit scary. And so the big problems with the fire route, uh, it's RNG dependent in eight two, which is actually a problem I encountered in my run. So you can see that later. And it's also RNG dependent on Bowser. You can lose your run on Bowser if you're on the keep. And also, if you do the fire route, you have to go for the 7-9 zips, basically. You're kind of committed to them because with the fire route, you're getting fire in 7-9. And so if you use a cloud on 7-9, you don't have fire. And uh, the route you have to use is quite a lot slower compared to it. And so for the hammer route, the main reasons to go for it are that Bowser is free. I mean, the Bowser kill is completely free, and you don't have to worry about any Bowser RNG. 8 2, uh, you don't have to worry about RNG either, and it's easier. And importantly, in my opinion, if you use the Hammer Suit, you can actually cloud 7 9 depending on your pace. And if your pace is good enough, you can decide to cloud 7 9. And to now, hold, an on. Idea, oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think I think that but that, that I think that's only based on your run though. Inevitably it's always going to be slower clouding 79. Oh yeah, it's slower I think, for sure, but I, I mean, think the option, for... yeah. Depending on your pace, but... you can keep up with oh, your yeah, pace yeah. because yeah, okay. I just want to make sure that that was thrown out there as well. Yeah, for example, compared to I mean, compared to an optimal uh, route with four zips first try, it would be 13 seconds slower for example, but compared to my run, uh, Skipix 79 with the hammer suit would lose like five seconds compared to me, approximately. Uh, for the boom booms, it looks faster on boom booms, but actually killing boom booms with uh, hammers is for humans only uh, approximately 0.2 seconds faster. And for the task it's like three frames. But I mean, for humans, you're not gonna go like as close as possible with your fireballs. So it's approximately 0.2. Uh, 
Yeah, exactly. You're never going to, like, as much as you want to, like, I always want to just run right into them and just keep spamming, but it's, you're, at this point, you're shaking, right? Like, even you right now, you know right now you need no hands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So your boom, and boom yeah, fights so, uh, are... The conclusion is, uh, so basically, both routes are, like, within one second of each other. I would say the fire route is a bit more consistent, which is good because there is some rate RNG, so you want consistency. But on the other hand, the hammer route is more versatile, and which is also good because it allows you to adapt to what your pace is and to what you got in terms of RNG before. So honestly, it comes down it comes down to personal preference, I think. Yeah, at this point, which is good because in the past it wasn't like that because nobody had developed this. Like we always kept Fire Flower, sure, through all World Seven and all that stuff. But we we normally obtained the Fire Flower on the airship of World 7 and just continued World 7 the way it was. There was no Fire Strat. And then the Hammer Suit came along, and that was like, oh my gosh, the Hammer Suit Strat, right? But then this, yeah. fire, this fire route came out. And it's so interesting to see that Fire and Hammer, it ended up being almost the same thing. It's so cool the way it developed. Yeah, yeah, for humans, it, it's definitely really, really close. Oh, and wait, I wait, think hold on, hold on, guys. The, the stress... The stress here, heart rate. <laughs> even <laughs> even right now, I'm nervous for it. Every time, oh my gosh, <laughs> yo, how much I mean, are you shitting right now? I mean, I for your shit, please don't choke this one. <laughs> like I'm shaking right now. Like oh man, no hands has always been the most stressful thing I've ever experienced. It's more stressful also, than right now. Hmm? Yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. No, I, w I was gonna say right now at the back of my mind. I remember that in my 100% run, I died on 8-1, and I'm like, don't die again on 8-1, please. Don't die again, yeah. Oh, man. So awesome. The hands. And you were you were back grinding the warpless for, you were like, at least three or four months at this point, right? You had already PB'd once, you, re, you lowered your, your time to the world record. At this point in time, it was a... Uh, 5113, right? Yep. Yep. And yep. you've been grinding Warpless for three or four months at this point? Yeah, even more, I think. I think it was like five or six, maybe. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was it was starting to get quite a, quite a long grind. Well, relatively speaking. Okay, so... so um, oh, no, no. You go yeah. ahead. You go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, the reason I don't... Uh, the star for the early P speed is because early P speed saves uh, 0.8 in 8.1 and using the star would be pretty much the same time so mm -hmm. it's kind of the same result basically. How come you didn't go for the, the fire kill? Now, now mo the average person thinks it's easy to just run and shoot a fireball and you're killing that turtle. It is, it is yeah, it's, disgustingly it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you mess up your timing, you get hit and you lose your... Okay, this part. So see, I got bad sun RNG, so I had to do a slower strat here, and uh, that's actually one of the big problems with the fire route. And then I played it really safe because I had some really shit sun RNG. And I didn't so know that. I, I didn't know you made that mistake. Uh, it's not a mistake. I mean, I got really bad uh, RNG. In, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that's what I mean. I, I didn't mean to call it a mistake. It's just I was thinking yeah. that that same thing happened in your 10:45, right? Uh, in the 10.45, I, I overshot the music block, so I landed on the bottom of the slope with no p-speed or something like that. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. And I lost, uh, I actually did the slope really well for no p-speed, but I lost one second compared to the normal strat. But yeah, that's uh, one of the problems of the fire route that Hammer doesn't have, is this Sonar Engine 8.2, and I lost two seconds in 8.2 because of it. And I mean, I couldn't do anything about it. If I went for the normal strat, I would have got uh, hit by the sun. And exactly. Would be yeah. dead. So, uh, long story short, I guess, is there's two patterns that the sun can do. One where the one pattern allows you to do the level as fast as you possibly can, and the other pattern uh, forces you to maneuver around the sun so you don't get hit. That's essentially. Yeah, that's. Um, I mean, some timings of the bad patterns are actually fine, so. But yeah, overall, it's two situations mainly. Now, every speedrunner has their own time sp stamps that uh, abide by splits. I don't know if yours is when you press A on the castle and the fortress, 
to know where your time is compared. But I know I have a feeling that you were looking at your timer and you're like, I've never seen this time entering Bowser's castle before. Oh yeah, I look uh, when I press A on the castle and I know exactly what time I can get. Um, so yeah, I, as soon as I saw the time, I knew I could get uh, like 54 or even 53 maybe, 54 more realistically. But then this shit happened. And honestly, it's not my fault. It's a pixel. Uh, my jump was good, but yeah, I didn't get the Z first try, yeah. which is two seconds lost. This is so lame. The, uh, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, the best thing you can do is just average out Bowser's Castle to being roughly a minute. Yeah. It's a, it's faster then, than a minute, depending on your movement, but yeah. What was going on on this fire queue? <laughs> I start shooting the wrong way, <laughs> and then I don't. I mess up my jump and all, and... <laughs> You're Fast nervous. Was, it's understandable, man. When yeah. I started uh, messing up Bowser, I was starting to go like a maniac. And if I lost my run on that, I would have never recovered, I think. So crazy. I don't have sound, so I can't really cue this very well. So yeah, I think I lost like 5 seconds in War Date compared to a, a really good War Date. But honestly, 4 seconds were just... RNG in A2 and uh, the zip in um, the one up zip in Bowser Castle. And then my Bowser kick was just super bad. Like, <laughs> incredibly bad. Whatever. I mean, like, you're the. So far, right now, I mean, I've been on some pretty intense runs, but not intense runs where that intense run is in World 8. I, I know you saw the, the video I put on YouTube with, like, that crazy good run I had with, like, the one death early hammer getting to yeah. World 6 and, like, the, the time was just insane, but that didn't get to Bowser. So, like, you're the only one who's, who's experienced this stress-level Bowser fight. Yeah, I was definitely, uh, on Bowser, I was definitely not feeling incredibly <laughs> confident, <laughs> but, yeah. He could have been, ten well, I mean, theoretically, he could have been, you know, 30 seconds faster. But, yeah, I mean, with, with some of his minor hiccups and uh, bad RNG from the end of World 7 to World 8, you know, a couple seconds here and there. Yeah, World 8 is not very clean, but I think uh, the strongest parts of my run are definitely World 6 and 7. Uh, 6 and 7 are really good. Like, even if I bailed in 7 9, I got the first two zips first try, and 7 1 was also first try, so mm -hmm. World 7 was really good. Yeah, right? Like, it's it's insane. Uh, my PB is a 51 14, which is actually one second slower than uh, Karu's previous world record. Yep. If only I would have gotten the two the the fifty one fourteen quicker, but I was doing the Kaizo stuff and and whatever. Thanks for the interview, play. No problem, man. It was really fun. So yeah, I mean, uh, I just I'm seeing a question. Yeah, I'm done for. Sure. I mean, even if Mitch gets the record like tomorrow or whatnot, I'm not coming back to SMB three. It's over for me. I'm happy with fifty, and I don't want to inflict that to myself anymore. And I mean, it's definitely possible to beat. I'm, I'm quite happy about my run, but uh, it goes without saying, but both Mitch and I have had faster runs entering World 8 and dying to the hands. So obviously, it can be beaten for sure, and Wait. Mitch will do it. Well, yeah, even even my PB right now, if I would have got no hands. Yeah, and my previous one too, because my previous one had one hand too. That's right, uh, your 51 13. That's right. Yeah. It's that's so strange, man. We 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 end up we ended up having so many of the same outcomes. It, I mean, it took it took your ass a long time to get the clip in six. Damn, man, that was yeah. that was so good. At least both of us have though, and they're both world record runs too. That's what mine was as well. The 51 51, I think it was. Uh, I think it was 53, maybe? I know Outside I Lutz had the 51-54, didn't he? Uh, I think he had 52, you had 53, and then I got 50, if I remember correctly. But it's been a while, to be honest. Yeah. So, All yeah. I know is it sat up at 51-50 for a long time, that range. It was up there for a good year or two. And then everyone was like, oh, let's save 40 seconds randomly. And then you uh, crushed it by like 22 seconds, if I remember correctly. Good. You got 28, didn't you? Yeah, fifty-one twenty-eight, and then Cujo beat it by one second. <laughs> You've lost records by one second multiple times, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've lost. I've lost something. three. Get this, chat. I've yeah. lost three world records from Karua on three different birthdays of mine. <laughs> that's that's pretty good too. It's almost <laughs> like I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> November thirteenth, Karua's 
made so many records, which is so ridiculous. And I remember you were here watching live, the Warpress one, because when I got the record, um, I remember that you were also here when I got the Any Percent record, and I was like, whoa, Mitch is always there when I get new records. That's cool. <laughs> And I like you stream so early. The odds are I would have been sleeping, but randomly that morning, something in the universe was like, "Mitch, you gotta wake up. Today's not your day." <laughs> yep. Oh man, that's awesome. Really enjoyed this interview. Thanks for setting this up. Yeah. Um. So, uh, crew, I I can finish this conversation with you in like ten minutes. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna head off stream and you know go raid and stuff like that. But then I wanted to ask you a couple questions uh, offline. So. Yeah. Sure. Don't okay. touch that dial. <laughs> that works for me. All right. Well, thank you for coming on and, and talking about this. This has been fantastic. I, I hope I hope this helps a lot of people for future runs when watching me to uh, slightly refrain a little bit from some of the questions that, that the answers have been explained on this. And um, for anyone who needs to know other answers, don't be afraid to go watch our previous PBs or previous world records. Lots of answers, lots of commentary. Don't worry about that. And right. uh, thanks for having me. It was pretty fun. And yeah, same. I hope that answered many questions. Yeah, no problem. Maybe we'll have you on again with uh, any percent or hundred percent or, or you know anything anything you guys want to do. But as for now, thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch you later, man. Yep. See you.